we're most excited about with Tiny Tycoons is the fact that we were able to solve a lot of the challenges that we identified in our first game, Tap City. Um, the honest truth is folks, they want to explore. They want to go beyond their immediate surroundings and in Tiny Tycoons they can do just that. You can virtually travel um, anywhere on planet Earth and you know, compete and collaborate with uh, people everywhere. The idea of being able to claim ownership of the places you love, but also the places you've always wanted to go, is gonna be a big driving force for why, why people play this game. The first game that we made that we never released because it was kind of just like a test, um, was we called it Duality. And it was like dual reality, like having a, a second lens into like the same world. And that's probably the seed of the, the whole Pap City and then Tiny Tycoon's line of games that we've been doing where the concept was still multiplayer in the real world, owning real world properties. We had basic avatars in there, but they didn't really have much personality. And then through um, design and also programming, we were able to give them more life. Creating a game that's based in the real world, but actually has a uh, not so real look to it is a little bit of a challenge, but it's something that I think we strive to, to do at the Tap Lab, which is how can we make the real world more fun? And a huge part of that is the art style. It's playful, it's very bright, it's vivid, uh, like it has a hyper sense of reality. I mean, we all grew up playing games and a lot of the, the design and the aesthetic stems from the games that influenced us, like uh, The Sims, The Sim City, like all those kinds of things. What we're most excited about, uh, you know, in terms of expanding the game moving forward is adding in more featured destinations. And, you know, with, upon the launch of the game, we're gonna have, you know, Paris and London in there. Um, but every time we introduce a new featured destination, we have new content. So, um, you know, landmarks you can visit, new location-based quests, um, and just very cool content that's tied to these places we've always wanted to go. I think Tiny Tycoons has the ability to have a really long shelf life uh, if we can, you know, with the audience, if the audience accepts us, because it's just ripe for customizing your avatars, customizing properties, adding more landmarks, adding more um, monuments. I mean, the thing is, is that Tiny Tycoons as it is today is about like a quarter of all the ideas that we we just can't put everything in there at the moment, and we just have all these ideas, and we just like want to say, all right, well, we'll be able to put that in in a future iteration or something. And it's just really exciting stuff. We got to get the core game out there and then we can start to expand it and make it even more customizable for people.